Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about venues, our latest addiction to WP Event Manager. And we're gonna explain what venue is and how you can make them use for your event listing website. So as you can see, I'm logged in to the WordPress backend area. And if you hover over the event manager section, you will see right below the organizer, there is a venue section. So we're gonna talk about venues from the front end and from the back end side as well. So for now, let's go to the back end side. And here you will see a dashboard. Here you can see one entries that I have already added for some testing. And how you can add a new venue by clicking here in this button. So in here you will see this venue submission form. So in here we can add a name for our venue. Let's say the ground and you can add any description if you want for the venue over here let's say the awesome venue and below that we will have some website for the venue facebook link youtube link instagram like all the social links and then below that we have some excerpt discussion and author so these are like pretty much wordpress basic stuff we don't need to worry about those so all we need to know is the title over here the description and the social links over here and you can set even a venue logo from here so let's select our logo and then we can hit publish and as you can see we have published the venue if we go to our venue dashboard we will see the venue showing up over here so let's go to add new event and we will see uh, where to and how to add the venue inside an event so this is the event submission page you pretty much already know how to configure them you can write your title over here content over here configure all the options over here and if you look closely right below the registration deadline we have the venues so if we click this drop down we will see that we have two venues over here the ground and the stadium so the stadium been added previously for testing purpose and this is the ground so that we have just created so after selecting the venue we can pretty much fill out all the details over here as usual and we can click publish and that will publish this event with an venue so i'm not adding an event from the back end side because we will do that eventually from the front end side where we will demo the venue function so you can add the venue or select the venue from this drop down fill out these details and publish your event so now let's go to our front end side and we will take a more look into the venue functions so you will have a venue dashboard in build with the wp event manager plugin and i have added that link into this menu let's visit the dashboard so this is pretty much replicate the dashboard we saw in the back end side for the venue you will have the list of the venues over here you can click on add venue to create a new venue over here in this form so venue name description logo and the social links as well so what the cool thing is about the venue or the new event manager update let's go ahead and click on add event so this is the event submission from from the front end side as you can see we have all the uh, basic stuff and the usual stuff over here with wp event manager's new update we added a new functionality to add venue or organizers from the same page that we add our events from no need to visit the organizer dashboard or venue dashboard to add a new entry right how we can do that we can always actually click over here to view our existing organizers and the venues as well so we have a little button over here right below the input for the organizer and for the venue as well so let's click on the venue one you will see we have a pop-up that lets us add a new venue for ourselves so if we fill out these details over here very quickly and then click on add venue that will go ahead and add a new venue to our database and we will be able to select that venue from here so i hope you get the point what i'm trying to make here since we didn't add a event from the back end side now we're going to actually fill out these details over here and we're going to select our venue and and we will preview the event listing page with the venue so let's fill out this uh, event form very quickly
So you will notice that I selected the event as online event. And in those scenario, you see the venue is not being showing up over here because the online events doesn't require a venue and therefore we don't have to select one. So let's select the offline event and we're going to enter the zip code over here. Then our location. And if you scroll down, we will see the venue being showed up over here once again. So keep in mind the venue functionality works for only offline events, not online events. So that's pretty logical. And now we can hit preview. And in the preview page, we're going to hit on submit listing. So we have a confirmation message. Now we need to uh, approve the event from the backend side. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is the event we have just created. Let's approve it. And we will go to our event dashboard. We have the newly created event over here that we can click. And we will land onto the event details page. So if we scroll down, we will see right below the organizer. Pardon the same logo used for the organizer and the venue. But we do have a venue section. We have the venue name and the venue description. And since we didn't include any social links, they will also show up over here. I hope this video gave you a little bit idea about the venue functionalities and how to use it. And I look forward to explain more about WP Event Manager in general as well. If you have any queries that you want to know or you want to get a little bit in-depth view, let us know in the comment. We will make sure to make a video about that. Until then, I'm Shadat saying goodbye. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.